Good morning. Yes. Can everyone understand me? Very well. So welcome to Darmstadt. Um, we have about five minutes delay, but we wanted to give everyone an opportunity to join us here in the plenum. Uh, my name is Patrick Busman. I'm board chairman of the DNOC Foundation and have the opportunity to welcome you all today to DNOC 10. Uh, a couple of housekeeping items. We have a really tidy agenda, so please be on time for the next talks so that we give our speakers the appropriate amount of time to actually run through their talks. Um, on the same topic, we ask our speakers to please appear 10 minutes before their talk behind the scenes. Uh, so that we can prep them. Uh, you can pick up your T-shirts during the day at the registration desk if you haven't at check-in. Latecomers, um, we have run out of T-shirts for you, so as stated in your registration, those will be shipped to you afterwards. Um, then please keep in mind the DINO community is an open and inclusive environment, so please treat each other with tolerance and respect. We encourage free speech and open exchange of ideas, so please keep that in mind when talking. If you have any questions, please ask the reception desk or send an email to ak veranstaltung at dinoc.de. We'd like to thank our sp uh, sponsors, uh, without whom it wouldn't be possible to have such a fantastic venue and such a fantastic conference. Our platinum sponsors, eShelter and DKIX, and our gold sponsors, Corbeck Boninfinera, Flex Optics, Gasline, our lunch and coffee sponsors, Data Center One and eKIX, a megaport company, and our silver sponsors, Hubert Zu. Huber und Suna, NetBrain, Sys11, Thomas Krenn, Santaro. For the first time ever, you, as the membership of the DNOC Foundation, are able to vote for the DNOC 2019 city. If you haven't made use of the new right to vote for the city, um, please do so. You should have received a link for the election website. The election is open until 5 p.m. today. If you haven't received a link or you've lost your link, email, or don't know how to find it in your email program, um, please send an email to vorstand at denorg.de and we will set you up again with the details. The result of the election will be posted in the closing talk tomorrow afternoon. Um, there is a DNOC general meeting of the DNOC Foundation tomorrow afternoon on, at 2 p.m. in the room 3.08 NEON. The access is for members only. Um, you can become a DNOC Foundation member during the whole conference, uh, either by talking to Richie, who is waving the uh, entry papers here, or you can go to the registration desk at all times. Uh, members are kindly asked to pick up their member ribbons um, on Thursday between 10 and 1 p.m. so that you have access to the general meeting. The general meeting is members only, so if you're not a member, please become a member before so that you can enter and join us. Yes. As decided, the meeting is members only. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. <coughs> okay. Just some facts on the DNARC 10. Um, just 15 minutes ago, we've actually um, got above the 250 registrations rule. So we now have 250 registration for the first time ever. That by now should be 37, 38% gross. Um, from 2007, and it is an all-time new record. Um, just to remember, last year was 180 attendees. So that is a big improvement and um, a significant amount of newcomers that are with us. So please help them, welcome them, enjoy your conference, and hope to see you again next year. Uh, we have 122 organizations represented here, and we have a growing international attendee group, which um, with the national attendee group that is very sophisticated already is a very good development of the conference, especially for the first year of under being hosted by the DNOC Foundation. Just a short recap and um, reminder, because there have been 
plenty of discussions on community and, and the DNOC Foundation. The DNOC Foundation is here to build a long-term, stable and independent basis for the conference. Um, the DNOC Foundation is here to support research and development for the good of the internet community and to create a platform which members and the can community can utilize. So the DNOC Foundation is not members exclusively and I want to make that perfectly clear because there have been um, rumors about that and discussions about that. Uh, working groups and all interest groups are open to the wider community. There is no requirement to be part of a working group to get engaged or anything else um, to have a membership. You can personally engage in all areas of the uh, DNOC Foundation without being a member. The, only, the plus you get is you get voting rights and can actually decide at the end of the day if you want um, when you're a member. So what is the future of the DNOC in 2019, um, especially under the hood of the DNOC Foundation, going to look like. Um, we have two areas, and we want to be very clear about that. Uh, the board is still intending to drive a number of projects and start those projects. So we do basic high-level projects in 2019, but the details are discussed and coordinated in the working groups. And here, uh, the members and the community play the relevant role because in the working groups we can only develop the future of DNOC Foundation and the future of the DNOC community itself uh, if you engage in those working groups and be part of the discussion on the mailing lists. Also, the Foundation is here to serve. So if you want to start your own projects, come with an idea, bring contributors, and we're happy to help, or not, if you don't, we just provide the umbrella. Um, if you want to start your own working group, if, of course, you think there are topics that we're not covering today, please bring contributors. We're very happy to host you and help, or, again, not help if you don't want us to. The main message here is get engaged, contribute, and develop the DNOC future, um, and no membership is required for that. The whole community is invited to do so. Uh, just to give you a little information on where you possibly could get engaged in 2019 and the future. Um, our major roadmap for 2019 is, of course, hosting a DNOT 11 in then a membership organized area, uh, to host local DNOT meetups to facilitate training and knowledge exchange, and to set up a foundation and community exchange in developing which areas are covered from whom, to have a better PR and public outreach for the DNOC itself, and to start planning DNOC 12 already in 2019, um, so that we adjust to international calendars, so that we don't have overlaps anymore. And with that, that was all about foundation and hosting, and I hand it over to Moritz for the program committee. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, also, we'll... Yeah, also a very warm welcome from the side of the program committee. Uh, this year's DNOC, we had quite an uh, interesting amount of submissions. First off, we had uh, 14 slots to fill, and we were presented with 39 submissions, so that's also a very tight increase, which we're very happy about and would love to see more. Um, within that, making the decision was very hard, and we had to kind of change our agenda. First off, we were thinking about having only long talk slots, but then you have in, in this case, uh, two routing daemon talks. So which one do you choose? Maybe we can just split them and have a combined routing talk uh, and see what happens. So yeah, uh, after about 310 reviews made by our program committee, which is, uh, yeah, uh, thankfully very well represented uh, throughout the community with uh, Florian and Kai, Richard, Sebastian, Stefan, Thomas, Tim, and Wolfgang, uh, we were able to, to make uh, quite a nice decision, and I hope you, you like it. Um, we have a complete rating list uh, online within the next days. Uh, you can find the link uh, on the back side of your badge as well as quite some other interesting information. Uh, the rating links for the talks will appear uh, shortly after each talk block on the website and a general conference feedback. Uh, so if we have any room for improvement, will be available on day two. Um, just as a quick reminder, we are live streaming this event um, and recording this, so if you have any questions after the talks, please wait uh, for a microphone to be handed to you and clearly state your name and affiliation before speaking. And please be mindful that, as Patrick mentioned, we have a very tight agenda, so um, keep your questions concise. 
yeah, as mentioned, all talks will be live streamed, so uh, please feel free to give your colleagues at home or other interested people uh, access to the link. And the recordings will also be available sh shortly after the conference um, on media.ccc.de as well as on YouTube. Thank you very much for the colleagues of uh, C3 WOC. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, the Wi-Fi, and I was kindly asked to especially point out that the Wi-Fi has IPv6 support. <laughs> So, yeah, that's it for me. Um, I will now hand over to Richie. Have a nice DNOC and welcome.